सो हाई गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वर्किंग ऑफ परसेप्ट्रॉन परसेप्ट्रॉन मॉडल इज आ लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम विच कंपेयर द वेट कैलकुलेटेड बाय द नेटवर्क विद द टारगेट आउटपुट एंड वॉट एवर विल बी द डिफरेंस इट विल गिव द एरर एंड एट ईच स्टेप दैट वेट बिटवीन द एसोसिएटरी यूनिट एंड द रिस्पॉन्स यूनिट विल बी अपडेटेड एंड फाइनली वेन देर इज एरर वैल्यू इज जीरो देन वी कैन से फाइनली वी अचीव टू द गोल नाउ कमिंग टू द वर्किंग ऑफ परसेप्ट्रॉन परसेप्ट्रॉन लर्निंग रूल इज यूज इन वेट अपडेशन बिटवीन असोसिएटरी यूनिट एंड द रिस्पॉन्स यूनिट this perceptron learning rule is used between weight updation between associative unit and response unit we have this associative unit that is also called as hidden unit and we will update the weight between the associative unit and the response unit for each training input net will network will calculate response and it will determine whether or not error has occurred we get the output from the network and now we will compare this output with the target output and now we will see whether the output of the network is equivalent to target output if it is not equal then a error will be produced error calculation is based on comparison of values of target with those of calculated output this error value is calculated between the output value of the network and the target value weight will be adjusted on the basis of learning rule if an error has occurred for particular training pattern then wi new is equals to wi old plus alpha t into xi so weight will be adjusted on the basis of learning rule now if there is some error has occurred now we have checked that uh, output of the network is not equal to the target output now we will again adjust the weight with on the basis of learning rule and now the new weight will be the summation of old weight plus alpha into t into xl where alpha is our learning rate how our neural model is learning and t is our target value our target value is plus 1 or minus 1 plus 1 if the it is positive and minus 1 if it is negative and we also add bias to the weight calculation and now we will update our bias as b new is equals to b old plus alpha into t now suppose after 4 to 5 steps we reached that there is no error has occurred that is now our output of the network is equal to the out target output now if there is no error then no weight updation now if the network output is equal to the target output then there will be no error and now no updation will be required and now finally training process may stop so this training process occur in finite number of steps these training rules begin with an initial guess at the weight value then successive adjustment are made on the basis of evolution function suppose our target out weight is 15 and now we will begin with an guess value we don't know what is our actual target value in learning model we don't know what is the uh, actual value now we we'll, we will begin with some random value and now we will check this random value weight is equivalent to the output weight if it is not equal then we will again update the weight with learning rule and finally we will be able to reach to the goal now we can understand this working of perceptron with the diagram first is the sensory unit we we have seen that perceptron is used for image recognition of black and white suppose this weight is represented in form of a matrix 
what are the patterns like where where the density of black is present where is the density of white color is present suppose for black color we have marked with x then weight of the sensory unit will be in bipolar form that is minus 1 0 and 1 now this sensory unit is passed to the associatory unit and the weight between the associatory unit and the sensory unit is fixed whatever will be the weight of the sensory unit and the associatory unit it will be fixed because this sensory unit provides us the input so input is not going to change so the weight between the associatory unit and the sensory unit is fixed now for associatory unit for each signal x1 to every signal in the response unit we will have some weight that is from x1 to y1 that we can represent as w11 from x1 to y1 from x1 to y2 w12 and so on whatever the number of units present in the response and now finally each response unit that is output unit will calculate a output and now this output of the network will be compared with the target output and now it will be compared and it will be checked whether it is equal or not if it is not equal then error will be produced and again the weight will be updated the new weight will be the old weight the old weight which we have plus it will be the multiplication of learning rate what is our learning rate with into target value into signal value weight present in input unit are fixed and weight present in response unit are trainable so whatever will the weight present between the sensory unit and associatory unit will be fixed suppose for image recognition we have considered assume a weight value 10 and suppose actual weight value is 15 now the whatever will be the input 10 first we will the uh, weight between the sensory unit and associatory unit is fixed that is our weight initially 10 will be fixed now this 10 will be updated now 10 will be checked with the target output that is 15 it is not equal then error will be produced now again a new weight will be calculated based on the old weight plus training rate and the target value into the signal value and now the value calculated will be 12.5 now it will again check it is not equivalent to 15 now again error will be produced and now again with the help of learning rate a new weight will be produced with the new weight new output will be produced and new output is compared now suppose at the third step our network output is 15 now 15 will be compared with the target value now it is equivalent now no error will be produced and this process will be stopped learning signal will be difference between desired and actual response of a neuron learning signal will be difference between desired and actual response of a neuron so the word our learning signal will be the difference between the desire that what we want and what is the actual response of a neuron weight can be initialized to any value in perceptron model we can initialize the weight with any value even we can initialize the weight suppose our target weight is 15 we can even initialize the weight with 20 now we will compare that 20 is greater now the target value will be minus 1 and in each step it will be decreased and finally this 20 will reach to the value 15 perceptron algorithm can be used for both binary and bipolar input vector this perceptron algorithm is used for both binary and bipolar vector like this sensory unit produce the three values that is 1 0 minus 1 that is bipolar values now this bipolar value is given to the associatory unit now this associatory unit will produce output in form of 0 or 1 now this output between the associatory unit and response unit will be in form of 0 and 1 and the final output will be also in form of 0 and 1 that is binary now suppose we take the binary value only 0 and 1 then the weight 
between the sensory unit and the associatory unit will be 0 and 1. But we have discussed in Hebb's rule that Hebb rule, Hebb rule was not good for the binary value. It was good for only the bipolar vectors. So this was all working of perceptron. Thank you.